All right, this will be the last tutorial and it's going to be tutorial 11 in this series. After now, we are going to be moving into another series, a bit more challenging. But for now, let's just wrap up this uh, tutorial series, which is TensorFlow uh, for, beginner for beginner data science and machine learning. After now, it's not going to be for beginner. Maybe it's going to be for intermediates. All right, so we are going to make prediction based on a single image. We've done something like this before. We are going to kind of repeat it so that you understand exactly what is happening. Already you know that we can get we can get a test image because if you are making prediction, you are using the test image. Let's say we want to make prediction for test image 8. So let's get this test image 8 and store it in an image called IMG. All right, so... Um, if I check the shape of this image, img the shape, you'll see that it's 28 by 28. img uh, test image is actually not test image, so img does. All right, so it's 28 by 28. Now, if we want to make prediction in Keras and TensorFlow, we can actually make prediction. Uh, precisely uh, on a single image uh, just like that. We need to add this single image to a batch because making prediction is done in a batch. So when we feed in 10,000 images, it makes prediction on these 10,000 images. And that is how Keras is designed to, to work. So it means for us to, to make prediction on this image, we are going to expand the dimension on this image to be just like a batch uh, of image. So we are going to add one more dimension. For instance, if you say, uh, oh yeah, so to do that, I'm going to simply say IMG, um, if I can remember the syntax, is equal to use NPy, uh, NumPy to do this expansion, NPy that expands dimensions, IMG zero. Uh, IMG is the image which is 28 by 28. We add one more dimension, we call it zero. So if we now go IMG dot shape, uh, it's going to be three dimensions, I think 1, 28, 28. That is fine. All right, so let's just make prediction at this point. I'm going to say prediction. Let's call it my prediction. My prediction. Equal to model our model which we are still using the same model we are building dot prediction dot predict dot predict for IMD and okay so that is fine so we now have my prediction of course you know my prediction will be made up of ten items so if I say my prediction just to check what is there uh, let's run it. So you can see we have 10 items made and from here you can easily see that the likeliest one that will be this one. So maybe 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, okay. All right, so it made this prediction and we are going to now display or plot this prediction to see what a prediction it is. I'm actually going to paste the code if I can paste it correctly. So we are plotting plot value array as our our function we wrote before now. So um yeah, so so far so good. So this is a function we wrote and we are um providing the parameters. Now I can explain exactly everything at this point, but I'm simply going to run it. All right, so it tells us prediction. So it's actually my prediction because I already tested this out using other variables. Okay, run. All right, so <laughs> this is very funny. Uh, the, 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 our model is predicting that it is a sandal uh, when actually it is not a sandal because if we if we check what the image image what image. Uh, what image was this? Image 8. So let's try to plot image 8 to see what it is. So I'm going to use this, or maybe I'm going to just use this to do image 8 and let's see what it is. So you have all these codes available, or you can pause the video and copy it. There's nothing wrong with doing that, and that way you'll be learning new things. So 
So image 8, let's check what it is because our model says it's a sandal, but actually it, and it is a sandal. This is surprising. Oh, I understand where the problem is coming from. Okay, so I think there's a place I needed to change the color. Um, okay, so let me see. So sandal at 98. Uh, so there is some bug in our program. So predicted level is through level green, else this okay. color is equal to color. Okay. Site color red. Okay, I think predicted level set color. So I think it might be coming from here. Okay, but for now I am not going to get into that at this point, but. I think, uh, let's see, it says 100% sandal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me see if I can fix this. So this, let me see, function to create a bar plot. These are the bar plot, uh, which color is this? Color is equal to this, so it can be this. So, true label the set color green, predicted label red. So, uh, I think I should set the color to predicted level to color, not red. So, set it to color because the color has been assigned here. So I'm going to run this again and I'm going to go down and I'm going to rerun this. So actually this color is not defined. Why? Color is not defined. Let's see. Alright, let's see. So color is defined. I, I don't I don't know why it's giving us this. So run this run. Uh, okay, so set color green, set color color. Okay, so actually set color uh, color. All right, so maybe we can solve this uh, in a different in a different module in a different module. Um, but outside that, I can try to copy this. No, no, it shouldn't be so. So anyway, let's let's end this class at this point, and then we we continue in the next in the next part. Meanwhile, they it gave the correct result at this point. So I like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to get more updates.